Whoa, a blank wall! Yee, yeah, hello everyone, and welcome to another what I got for Christmas type sort of video here. I know I'm pretty late on it, but I got busy with walkthrough stuff, and I was also playing the new stuff that I got, so that kind of held me back from making this video. And, well, here I am finally making the videos, and let's start out with... A Nintendo 2DS! Yeah, I finally got into the 3DS family here. And, uh, no, wait, hold on. Don't get on your keyboard attacking the 2DS just because you don't like the 2DS. The 2DS is just for a different sort of consumer. I don't know why people hate the 2DS so much. You don't have to get the 2DS if you don't want to get the 2DS. <laughs> <laughs> but I rather like the 2DS, so I got a 2DS, and it all, of course it also came with um, AR cards there, so yeah. The, every, every 2DS or 3DS system comes with AR cards, so I guess that's not really all that special, but I thought I would have it laid out with the rest. As for games, Super Mario 3D Land, which is a pretty fun game. It starts out kind of boring though <laughs> it's i don't know why it just feels really basic at first but it just keeps getting better and better as you go but i did enjoy the game even though i got through it in just a few days <laughs> it was kind of short for being a uh, 3d mario platformer but i would say it's worth a play uh next up is zelda link between worlds and i love this zelda game it's so so much fun it uh, you have pretty much free reign as to where you want to go, just like the old, 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 old Zelda 1. And, uh, except that there's a couple of hints here and there, you know, as to where you're supposed to go a la uh, Link to the Past style. But the way it's done is that it, it's just so brilliantly designed that I just absolutely love the whole experience from start to finish. As a matter of fact, I would probably put it within my top three Zelda games. Alright, next over here is Cave Story 3D with this sleeve that's got that sort of kind of movie picture thingy majigger, you know, to emphasize the 3D. <laughs> uh, you know Cave Story, I've played Cave Story before, and I thought it would it would be nice to have a, a handheld version of it so I could play it away from the PC, because the PC we use is a shared PC, so it's not like I can play Cave Story whenever I please, so I thought it would be nice to have a, uh, a handheld version of it. Um, what I was, I was quite surprised when I played through this, though, because it actually has some new areas attached to the main adventure that we all know and love. So that threw me for quite a loop, but I got through it uh, relatively easily, though, regardless. Because, as you know, I'm pretty experienced with Cave Story. I ended up beating it in two days. <laughs> but uh, uh, if, you, if you've never played Cave Story before, definitely give it a shot. The first, I would say get the freeware PC version, and then uh, some other versions of it, because they're pretty close to being the same game overall, except, you know, it's on different platforms. Uh, anyway, next up, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, of course. Yeah, this is probably one of the must-have games for a 2-slash-3DS owner, and for good reason. It, it definitely feels like the first Luigi's Mansion with the whole capturing ghosts, uh, inside, I guess, I, I, I want to say a mansion, but you travel across all sorts of different planes, and you all go, all, you go to all sorts of different places, so it's not so much always a mansion, I guess you could say, but it's still got the same, uh, you know, capture ghost style of formula with some, uh, other added stuff to it as well. Uh, but I don't want to spoil it too much, but if you like the first Luigi's Mansion, I'm sure you'll like this one. And chances are you'll probably like it even if you haven't played the first Luigi's Mansion because of Luigi's Mansion's uh, quite unique gameplay of the way you capture ghosts and whatnot. Next up is Kid Icarus Uprising. Now this one was I, uh, a game that I really debated myself on getting or not. Because I heard that it has kind of wonky controls. Well. It kind of does, but at the same time, you could say that I'm, I was already used to them before I even got the game. You see, I have 
Metroid Prime Hunters for the Nintendo DS, and this was another sort of game that had uh, uh, reviews that, that sort of bashed it for having bad controls, but it was more like a game that that you had to get the hang of controlling. Um, see, what you do is you hold one side of the DS with one hand, then you use the other hand to hold the other side of the DS. Uh, like, like say, I mean, I mean not, not the other side of the DS, excuse me, you hold the other side with the stylus, and you don't actually hold the other side with the, uh, uh, with your hand like you usually would, you know, having one hand on each side. Although there is a control option for you to use, um, for you to not use the touchscreen, excuse me. I'm, I know I'm stumbling on my words here, but I'm trying to describe this in a way that will kind of make sense to you uh, without spoiling too much again. Um, so you kind of aim while using the stylus by sliding it across the screen. You shoot uh, using the other hand, and that's kind of uncomfortable for people. And thus they gave, uh, these are my, I mean, these are the cards that came with it too, you know, the AR cards. It came with this stand that you can use to prop up said 2DS or 3DS onto, like so, and then you can, and you have a hand free to do this, and the other hand's going to be, you know, touch, touch, touching on there. I like to have it hanging off sort of at an angle like this, so that most of my hand is on this, and then the other hand is, uh, um, you know, on the touchscreen and whatnot, if I'm using the touchscreen controls. So, uh, yeah, that's how I would recommend uh, using the stand if you use it, you know, having it more towards your, the hand that's holding the system. Um, but, yeah. Sorry about that pause, I thought I heard someone calling me. <laughs> uh, then I mentioned that the 2DS is a really, really comfortable system. Probably the most comfortable system I have ever used. Well, handheld system I have ever used. So... So comfy. Anyway, <laughs> here's the last game, which isn't really so much a game as it is an application. Pokemon Art Academy, yeah. <laughs> you can actually use this to draw on your 3DS and create some pictures to upload to places or to print out or whatever, basically. I've been uploading the creations that I've made with this on my uh, DeviantArt account if you'd like to go see them a little bit later. It's up to you. Now for the non-game stuff. I've got some more of those shorts that look like jeans or khakis. Yep. Two, two pairs of each, by the way, in case you can't tell that. I've got, also got some socks! Yes, must have socks! For DDR as well as shoes, so you don't get blisters. And finally, a shirt! A blue and white striped shirt. And that is all I got for Christmas. Well, I shouldn't say that, there's some other stuff as well, but it kind of gives away certain parts of identity, I guess you could say. So I, I'd rather not show everything, but I got a lot more for Christmas than I thought I would, let's just put it that way. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the video here. Oh wait, I forgot to mention, I got these sheets for Christmas as well. You know, bed sheets. You see, you've seen them through the whole video and I didn't really mention that, but I call it an editing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. And I shall see you in the next video.